Today, let us study the Word of God, ruminating about heaven and hell through the teaching in Luke chapter 16. Let us go to Luke chapter 16, verse 19. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores, and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. In this parable, Jesus explained that even after the death of the body, there exists another world. The words, the time came when the beggar died, show that even though he died physically, the spirit within his body was carried by angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away, with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Jesus Christ explained about the world after this life, so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Isn't this a description of hell? It says in verse 29, Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said. But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced, even if someone rises from the dead. Jesus Christ Himself came to teach us through the parable of the rich man and Lazarus that heaven and hell truly exist. He let us know that hell is a place of such great torment that even a drop of water from the tip of a finger is so deeply desired to cool the tongue of a person there. He describes how the man in hell would say, I would be so grateful even for that. Let us study more about the matters of heaven and hell. Mark chapter 9, verse 41. I tell you the truth. Anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to Christ will certainly not lose his reward. And if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a large millstone tied around his neck. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell, where the fire never goes out. Didn't he also give his children this message so that they would not enter hell, a place of such great torment? Not only through the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, but also through many other lessons, Christ gave us the teachings about heaven and hell by repeatedly guiding us to follow his teachings correctly. He let us know that we must repent and return to the true teachings of God. Verse 45 And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. We can see that all these words contain the strong will 
of Jesus Christ, who is adamantly warning us, you must never go to hell. Therefore, we should not commit the sin to go against God's will by breaking His law. Rather, we must make every effort to live a life of obedience in the truth, not in falsehood, by keeping God's commands and never the rules of man. On Judgment Day, will we be sentenced to go to hell or heaven? Since that day will come, we can see in the Bible that God is asking us to live according to God's teachings and instructions. His earnest desire is for us to never receive the final judgment of being sentenced to hell. By this, I would like to conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.